Hi guys, welcome to Lennox Benny channel. If you don't know me, sorry. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. So today we're looking at the 2023 curriculum piece. Let's go. It says for item 129, there's only one correct answer. Indicate the response by shading the letter next to the answer. We choose an as example, given the name. Which part of speech is underlined in the sentence below? And it's in Nancy Kit. Red bar. And it's, of course, Kit is a verb, so C is shaded. It's not really shown here, but it could have been C. So Kit is a verb. So, guys, what I want you guys to do is that I want you guys to choose the answer and see how many you got. All right, let's go. All right, then don't type it. So I will give you guys time to answer. All right, it says read the passage, then answer item one to eight. Robert Nestor Mari OM, also known as Bob Mari, is probably the most well known Jamaican. He was born on February 6, 1945, in St. Anne. He died on May 11. 1981 in Miami. He began singing as part of the group called The Wheelers. This group included Bonnie Wheeler and Peter Touch, Marley and Bonnie. Marley and Bonnie Wheeler had been childhood friends. The Wheelers went their separate ways in 1974, but each member had successful individual careers. Marley pursued a solo career upon his relocation in, to England. While living in England, Marley recorded the album Exodus in 1977. This album, this album established his worldwide reputation and elevated, elevated his status as one of the world's best selling artists of all time. With sales of more than 75 million records. One of Marley's most memorable performances in Jamaica was One Love Peace concert in Kingston, April 22nd, 1978. People at the concert began to recognize the impact of Marley's music as an avenue for unity. His song One Love voted. The song of the Millennium by, BBC, by the BBC. Also, in 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked Mari number 11 on the list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. And even though he has been dead for almost 38 years, his music is still being sold on electronic platforms such as iTunes and online music stores. Here we have it without the reading. Let's get into the question. Question one Which pronoun can be used to replace the underlying word in items one and two? Marley and the Bonnie Wheeler and a child friend. So, what they say, which of these words will you use to replace Marley and Bonnie Wheeler in that sentence? Let me in the comment section, guys. Say one, if it's A, you type one A. If it's B, right, type one B. And if it's C, type one C, and so on. If it's D, type one D. You have to write a okay, word, just the letter. But put the number, and at the end, you see how many you got correct. All right? Let's go. So the pronoun that would be used, they, they had been childhood friends. So if you had said one D, you are correct. Congratulations, you have just got your first mark in the examination, right? Let's move on to question two. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked number 11 on their, all, on their list of 100 great, greatest artists of all time. So again, you're going to use a 
pronoun to replace Marley. What should it be? With the is, him, me, them. Type it in, guys. Come on, 10 more seconds. Let's go, let's go. It's either you know it or you do. Let's go. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Welcome. Curriculum Base 2023. In 2004, the Rolling Stone magazine ranked him. So I would replace Marley with him. Number 11 on your list of 100 greatest. So for two, it would have been. What are you getting in your exam? Let's go, guys. So far, so good. Which word phrase replaces the underlying word in items three and four? The people at the concert began to recognize the impact of Marley's music at an avenue for as an avenue for unity. It's a audience, B congregation, C crowd or the, the spectators. So you can be a picture. Congregation normally refers to um church. Crowd. Normally refer to outdoor so you can have an indoor crowd. Spectators. So it's between spectator and audience. I'm gonna go with audience. So for number three, it would have been A. This album established his worldwide reputation and elevated his status as one of the world's best-selling artists of all time. Is it A, a guitarist, B, e, a band leader, a superstar, or a writer? So it says one of the world's best selling artists of all time. What would you replace them? And I would say be a superstar. Professor Bob Marley, Professor Bruce, Professor Bruce. Let's move on to number five. Which art of which part of speech is the underlying word in items five and six? All right. Marley then pursued a solo career upon his relocation in England. His solo a noun, a conjunction, an adverb, or an adjective. It's an adjective because it's describing something. All right, let's move on to number six. The whalers went their separate ways in 1974 but each member had a successful individual career. All right. Pronoun, a proposition, put ejected, and that would be a conjunction. That one is pretty obvious. All right, let's look on to number seven. Which option given in the process in meaning to the underlying word in item seven and eight? While living in England, Marley recorded the album Exodus in 1977. Is it wrote, released, listened, checked? Which word would be the closest? Of course, remember, it's an album, right? So we normally release an album, all right? This is not a book. Let's go. Let's move on to eight. One of Mary's most memorable performances in Jamaica was One Love Peace Concert in Kingston on April 22nd, 1978. I remember, we're looking for the word that is closest to memorable. Is it important, insignificant, lengthy, or forgetful? Obvious, it's important. So it's a great memory, cherish it forever. So it's very important. Let's move on to number nine. So the number nine, guys. Read the advertisement carefully and answer nine items nine to thirteen. So this is an advertisement and it was dated 
January 2, 2019, house rent in our wood, St. Andrew, Close, Asylum, and Cherry Garden. 60,000 per month plus 60,000 security, security deposit payable by January 1, 2019. Amenities, swimming pool, covered park, air condition, view of the city, 24 hour security, well kept gardens, and closed hospitals and supermarkets. Available on February 28, 2019. Contact G. Meredith, New Look Properties, 10B Montclair Drive, Kingston 6, telephone 926 All right, you guys want to read that again? Let's go. So it's dated January 2, 2019. Post for now with St. Andrew Plus, Ashley and Cherry Garden, 60,000 per month plus 60,000 security deposit payable by January 31st, 2019. Amenities, swimming pool, covered parking, air conditioned, view of the city, 24 hour security, and well kept gardens. Close to hospital and supermarket, available on February 28, 2019. For contact, Jean Meredith, and if I Jean, yeah. anyway, New Look Properties, 10B Monteclair Drive, or Kingston 6, so they go 926, 123. So what they do here, you know, 123, what is the location of the house being advertised? Is it Cherry Garden, Norfolk, Monteclair Drive, or as well? I saw. And that would be Let's go up to see. It says also for rent in Narbrook City and it's close to Cherry Garden and inside. So it would be in Narbrook. So that for number nine, it should have been. Let's move on to number 10. How much is the house being rented for? It did say 60,000 and also 60 deposit. All right. Also, we can first rent to this house moving A, the beginning of February, end of January, end of February, or the beginning of January. Now we're going to go back up. I would say it's the end of February. But let us go back up just to make sure that it's the correct answer. So it's available on 28th of February. So that's the available time. So it's the end of February. So let's go. So guys, read it in carefully tomorrow, right? It's not our just relax waiting. Who is Jean Meredith likely to be? A, the person who has advertised the house. B, the gardener, the person who wants to move in the house and neighbor. I would say A, she's the person who advertises the house. So it's her contact, so you have to contact her on information and all the people. The gardener, right? Which best explain what amenities are an advertising strategy? Things that make life more comfortable. I like that. I like that. Security deposit, specific directions to the house being rented. So it would have been B. Things to make life more comfortable. And the, the hotels will include the amenities. All right. Yes, the pool, the beach, you can relax, and the games that we can play, and the love of I just want to go for a vacation, but I have to do these questions first. I want to go on a vacation. All right, let's move on to 14. And this one says, read the passage below the answer from item 14 to 19. It says, Zinedine Zidane, 
Why does the mayor in Madrid ball? Why could the mayor ball so well? Zinedine Zidane is a former French professional footballer, uh, Brazil. Okay. Let's go again. Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane is a former French professional footballer. Born to France, born in France to Algerian parents on June 23, 1972. He has played several football clubs over his colorful career, which spans 17 years from 1989 to 2006. This club include Bordeaux. Oh, me know that guys, because me know it. I, I could not pronounce it when I know it. So Bordeaux, Juventus, and Real Madrid. All right, so this one is a French club, this one is an Italian, and this one is a Spanish club. So this is Real Madrid. It was a real Real Madrid, all right? So this club is to Bordeaux, Juventus and uh, Real Madrid. At Real Madrid, he won the Champions League as a player in 2002, scoring the winning goal. He, all, he was also named the World Player of the Year for this occasion in 1998, 2000, and 2002. Zidane has also represented his country winning the World Cup in 1998 and getting into the finals again in 2006. However, in 2006 final, he was sent off for the head party of an opponent, for which he was heavily criticized by the media. But he was later forgiven by his countrymen. After his retirement from football as a player, Zidane went on to coach Real Madrid. He led them to three, three successful successive Champions League titles, 2006, 2007, and 2008. The only coach who have won that title three times. All right? This is a very well put together article. I know the boys would love this girls' coach. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right? For which team did Zinedine Zidane win the Champions League, both as a player and a coach? Is it A, Real Madrid, B, France, C, Juventus, or D, Italy. Well, look at it. It says Real Madrid won, he won the Champions League as a player in 2002. That's uh, as a player, right? And then it's after his retirement from football, as a player, Zidane went on to coach Real Madrid. He led them to three successive. So it would have been Real Madrid. Alright, the boys are doing this naturally too. And that's false. Alright. This statement suggests that Zidane was a very successful footballer. A he was forgiven by his countrymen. B he won the World Play of the Year three times. C he has represented his country. D he was born in France to Algerian parents. I would say B he won the World Play of the Year here three times. For the girls, that is an award for being the best player in Europe, not overall. I'm sure there are better players in Europe, but in um, Africa and so forth, they will recognize them only in Europe. How many World Cups did Zidane win? Is it one, two, three, or four? Let's go back up to the article, because remember, it's an article. I know all that the top of my head, but Let's go. Let's go to the evidence. All right. So over here, they spoke about the club, right? This is a club, and over here, they spoke about the Zidane has also represented his country, winning the World Cup in 1998, and getting to the finals again in 2006. Now, he won in 1998. He only got to the final. Getting to the final does not mean he won. Right? And the further went on to say, the 2006 final, he was sent off for his head button and opponent, for which he's heavily criticized. So because he didn't win, really they criticized him, right? But he was later forgiven by the French people. For sure. Alright, so he won it once. Let's move on to 
In which paragraph was the mood of the passage change? Is it paragraph one, paragraph two, or paragraph three? Let's go back up. In which paragraph was the mood of the passage change? This is paragraph one. Timmy Zinzidan is a former French professional football player for in France and Algeria, Emirates and Jules in 1973. He has played for several football clubs over his colorful career, which spanned 17 years, 1989 to 2006. This club includes Bordeaux, Juventus, and Real Madrid. At Real Madrid, he won the Champions League as a player in 2002, scoring a winning goal. He was also in the world that's player of the year on three occasions. So basically, in these two paragraphs, they basically tell you about Zidane and the accolades that he has won, right? This one, I would say it's paragraph three, so it says Zidane has also represented his country winning the World Cup in 1993 and getting into the finals. However, in 2006 final, so I'm going to go with three. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's go. So I would see three. Let's move on to number 18. Which is true about Zinedine Zidane? He is the first person to A, win three World Player of the Year awards, B, play for three clubs in three different countries, C, Win three Champions League trophies as a coach, or D represent this country in two World Cups. Let's go back to the passage. Let's see where we can find that answer. Here we go. This is Zidane you know, is a former French football player for the fans that was that all right. He said, however, in 2000, his final, he was sent out for his effort that was to the quality of the year, but later After his retirement from football as a player, Zidane went on to coach Real Madrid. He led them to three successful, successive Champions League titles in 2006. Okay, only coach of one three times. So there it is. They say he's the only coach of one. So that would be the answer. Very good to that. As a coach. All right, let's move on. That was a champion that you are doing here. Which best describe the overall mood of the passage? Is it regretful, happily celebrated, or mechanical? Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with celebratory. The celebrated is success. I would say that. So we're not celebratory. All right, 20. Read each sentence on the strips below carefully, then use the information to answer item 20 to 24. One. The urinal skin of the orange can be used as a repellent for flies and insects as well as flavorings for pastry. That's a question too. But there are other uses which are especially common to Jamaicans in rural areas. Hmm. Three, the orange is a dynamic fruit. Four, an important the pulp is a good source of fiber while the seed is an ingredient for several medicines. Five, this is believed to have originated in either China or India. Six, in Jamaica, it is a primary source of vitamin C for both children and adults. I completely agree. Today, it is grown primarily in tropical climates such as the Caribbean, Florida, Brazil, and part of Africa. Right? Which option places the sentences in the correct order to make a this part? No, that is so hard. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at what would be best starting from, and then that. 
I'm going to look for which is this. I would see, I would start it with the orange is a dynamic field. It could be the type. Of, so I'm going to start it with three. So let me see how many of the options start it. Is it 10? Um, one and right. So you see that this part is right. Let's set up number two and versus number five. What does number five say? Number five says after we say this is a dynamic food, this is a really interesting. Yeah, that could be it. Right, guys, what well, uh, <laughs> Yo! All right. So I would see five problems. This is on five, so five over two. So, I'm going to say it's. it's, it's Orange is a dynamic fruit. I will go up, I will continue with five. It is to believe to be originated in China or India. That's my case. So I'm gonna go with all right. I'm gonna go with B for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, which statement is true? Most countries produce orange. B Orange is only eaten in rural areas, no. Most of the orange is used for D, Jamaica is the largest producer of orange. It did not say Jamaica is the last. It only say that it tells us what the skin can do, it tells us what the sea can do, and what the oil can do. So I would say most of the orange is useful. All right, the like button, guys, in a long time, let's start. Which sentence says of evidence that the orange has health benefits? So let me look which of these sentences see that orange of health benefit. Orange is a dynamic food. So I would say one is one of them. One and six. Let's see which are one and six. Six, one and six. Oh, they include four too. Let me see if four is the first, but I'm sure I'm sure of one and six. Probably I overlook four. An important the pulp here is a good source of fiber while it's easy and greeted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one, four, and six. All right, let's go, let's go. Kind of overlook four. That one, guys. So that would be which pair of, which pair of sentences, sentences is an example of contrast. Contrast. It is, it is, uh, it, it is believed to have originated in either China or India. And then they went on here to say, today it is grown primarily to tropical food such as the Caribbean, Florida, Brazil, and parts of Africa. So these are contrasting arguments, right? They say it took to So yeah, let's say, boom. Why it's contrasting? We are saying, oh, it's originated in China or Africa. China or India, but yet in two days it's the dose it's being grown there. So if it was originated there, why is it not there? Well, that could be true, you know, but that could be five and seven. It contrasts it. They're not corresponding. All right. So that would be five and seven. That would be an example of a contrasting. 
24, which pair of sentences best support the idea that the orange is a dynamic fruit? So that dynamic means multi, right? So let's see what each of these sentences. All right, sorry about that, guys. A big bad in a box. All right, so I would say one, did you know that the skin of the orange can be used as a repellent for flies and insects? So, uh, you know, two things that also has flavoring for pastry, so it's showing up dynamics. All right, it does just one, you know, dynamics. So, let me see which other one. So, this is a statement. So, or I'll go with four too, and it's importantly, and importantly, the pulp is a good source of fiber. So, seed fiber is another use, while seed is an ingredient for several medicines. So, I would say one and four for that one in terms of dynamic. So, that's one of the so that we read 24 All right, let's move on to 25. All right, read the story below then answer to come to 25 to 20. This is a lot for the kids, though. I mean, come on, guys. Because we have a lot of reading to that question. Read the story below then answer item 25 to 29. Fishing with Grandpa Leo. Vanessa was beside herself with excitement. Well, I'm going to make it bigger. So you guys still know. Vanessa was beside herself with excitement. She was 10 years old and her Grandpa Leon was finally going to take her fishing. Grandpa Leon came to be a fishing expert, practically a professional angler. He told Vanessa that he caught giant marley and huge tuna, and that he had many adventurous stories to tell. He promised he supplied all the fishing gear, rods, reel, hooks, bait, pockets, and plenty of food too. All Vanessa had to do was to ready promptly at 6 a.m. She asked her mom to wake her, to wake her on time. Soon it was morning, and Grandpa Leon and Vanessa were off on their early start to the one fishing on the bed. So, All right, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, my screen just freeze froze up for me. All right, let me just start. Moving. 